Good morning. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Immaculate of the Blessed Virgin Mary. A self-remembrance is made in this Mass for Paul Day Rhymesmith. Please stand. Please stand. 
Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin, prepare a worthy dwelling for your Son. Grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so, through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid, because I was naked. So I am myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten them from the tree of which I have forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here was me. She gave me the fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals, and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat. All the days of your life I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head, while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our song response is, Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Jesus Christ, 
in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace, that he granted us in the beloved. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus. 
While this small story of the Annunciation is filled with many interesting details, today's feast wants to concentrate all on Mary. Because Luke goes to great lengths to depict Mary who she was, a very ordinary young girl from a poor environment. Her life is headed down a traditional path that many had followed before her. She was betrothed to be married, as many girls her age were already betrothed. But the angel, when she enters the story, changes Mary's life beyond anything or anyone she could have imagined. And from that moment on, her life would be anything but ordinary. The very first two things proclaimed about Mary from Gabriel is that she was full of grace and she has found favor with God. Grace and favor are the divine qualifications through which Mary became the mother of the Son of God. It is precisely from this perspective that the church throughout the centuries concluded that such an immaculate vessel, vessel must be thoroughly without law. So the church's conclusion that Mary was untouched by original sin, and therefore Mary was immaculate conceived. There is no indication in the Gospel of Luke that Mary was aware of any of this. Her response to the angel explanation of what was going to happen to her was, how can this happen since I've had no relations with a man? And even Mary's final response, even Mary's yes, was not an overwhelming, yes, God, whatever I want. She's listening. But then she quietly just says, it's like, okay, let it be done to me as you would have. Mary was not a theologian. Mary was not a teacher. So the angel's explanations for her are more for us as a reader of the story than for Mary. Because Mary was content to be who she was, that handmaid of the Lord. And the dynamic that is running through the entire story is not the knowledge or understanding about how God works. The dynamic through the entire story that we celebrate today, as we celebrate the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, is all about faith. And Mary is a central character about faith. Mary is a prime example of the extraordinary being manifested in and through the ordinary. No answers are given to the many questions about how could this happen. However, the angel Gabriel offers a very important key, and that is nothing will be impossible for God. Now many things are impossible for us as human beings, especially when we intend to take the place of God. So we, in this time, really would benefit greatly by meditating on this story of the Annunciation. What does it mean to be graced and favored by God? Because the actions of God seldom follow human logic and are often defy human understanding. Because we as human beings, we have a tendency to spend a great deal of time either grieving or longing for the past, or we are very anxious about the future, and neither of which we can change or we can control. So there's a lot to be learned from Mary, who is the handmaid of the Lord. She firmly believed that nothing is impossible with God. And therefore, without fear, she could say, let it be done to me according to your word. So being immaculately conceived is not an option for us as human beings, but believing that nothing 
is impossible for God. Yes. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee.
acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer to you, O Lord, in the solemnity of the immaculate conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And grant that as we profess her on account of your previous grace, to be untouched by any same sin, so through her intercession we may be delivered from all of our faults through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For you preserved the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son, and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride without a spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb who would wipe away our offenses. He placed her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Have mercy on us all, we pray. 
of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, of the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to become heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. 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 Those who are unable to be with us today, or are unable to receive the Eucharist at this time, will now pray a prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament, and I love you of all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come with me spiritually to your heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. 
Never permit me to be separated from you. Communion hymn is number 120. My soul rejoices. One, two, zero.
May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal in us the wounds of that from which in a singular way we preserve the blessed Mary and her immaculate conception through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, to defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him we humbly pray. And do thou, the Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast him to hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking their own souls. Amen. Our recessional hymn is number 512, Immaculate Mary, 512.